how can uh, we notice how can you notice and spot your inner child and um, our child like to act like a little child like a real uh, child and you probably saw those people they might be in their 30s 40s 50s but they act like uh like kids right they create drama so let's talk a little bit in details because when it's obvious we can see it but when it's hidden it's harder to see and i want to show you several examples and hopefully you can recognize maybe yourself or maybe your partner or maybe your mother father or your mm, friends uh, the first example is uh, people who do not take responsibility in life. Uh, usually children don't like uh, to take responsibility. They don't want to clean their toys. They don't like to do home chores. And uh, people who don't take responsibility in life, uh, they compensate. How they compensate love? Yes, how they get it? Why do they do that? Because uh, uh, their me uh, defensive mechanism is if you love me, you will do it for me. So people who don't want to be responsible, they expect other people to do things for them. And for them, this is a, uh, a symbol of love. Another example, uh, people who need to be reminded several times about um, about decisions, about agreement, about plans, uh, about anything. And again, this is the childish mechanism because child must be reminded about uh, his schedule. Uh, you should tell a child to go and brush their teeth, take a shower and compensation mechanisms. Why people do that? Because they need extra attention. Uh, when you remind your husband, your mother, your brother, your friend, uh, they get attention from you. So I am getting more attention every time when you remind me to do something. This is the compensation mechanism. Uh, third example, people who complain a lot or blame others. This is, uh, uh, this is I see often and you probably too. And again, if we compare to children, children like to say, this is not my fault. This is her fault. Don't blame you. Don't judge me. And compensation mechanism here is other people are bad and I'm good. So I want to feel good. I want to uh, feel great. I'm a good girl. I'm a good boy and other people are bad. So people who complain a lot, they do not accept the fact that uh, they might be wrong or they might make a mistake. And this is normal. Adult person, the mature person, uh, he knows that uh, everybody can make a mistake those people they don't um, because they have to compensate uh, the love that they did not receive during the childhood they, so they have to prove themselves first of all that they are good so other people are bad this is not my fault i did everything right another example uh, people who have hard time following rules and kids hate rules right uh, Kids uh, break rules uh, all the time and uh, people, adults who mm, don't follow the rules, uh, they uh, do it because they want to show the world and themselves again that they are better than everybody else. So rules uh, do not apply to me. I'm above the rules. I am better. Again, this is the defensive mechanism to compensate lack of childhood love. Third example, uh, people who do not take care of their body, people who do not uh, go to gym, people who do not eat healthy food, uh, like kids. Kids like pizza, ice cream, hot dog, um, fast food and it's very hard for the child to stop himself from uh, cake or to stop himself and say no this is a bad food for me i'm not gonna eat it but for adults it should be normal adults should understand that uh, the fast food is bad um, that you should take care of your body you should do exercise and people who don't do it, uh, they again using the filter, the childish mechanism uh, that says, I believe in magic. 
my body will be healthy anyway i believe in magic bad stuff is not gonna happen to me okay uh the next example people are looking for a quick fix people without patience um why are they doing it because they believe that miracle exists a child uh, mechanism uh, that miracle exists and uh, a girl came to me and she said, I want to get my boyfriend back. Uh, give me some advice. Give me some uh, tricks. How can I get him back? Again, this is the childish mechanism. The person is not a purse. You, can, you cannot go back to the store and buy your boyfriend again. So if your boyfriend left you, the question is why? Uh, did he do that? Why do you want him back? And... Um, when you are asking yourself about uh, um, those reasons, you can understand yourself better. Do you really want him back? Or maybe you don't want to be lonely. Or maybe you have a fear that you're not going to find anybody better. Or maybe you have a fear that um, you're going to become old and lonely. So when a person is saying, I want my boyfriend back, it's like a child asking for the toy, like I want my toy back. And adult, um, a healthy adult, uh, an mature adult is not gonna ask those questions. Uh, okay, a uh, question. Adrian, uh, you are saying, uh, hello, Elena, my name is Adrian. Welcome, I live in North Hollywood. Uh, I am a recent subscriber to your channel i've enjoyed some of your videos recently and wanted to say thank you for providing your knowledge you're welcome thank you very much for saying those words because this is extremely important to me i want to know that i'm not just talking to myself and when i see comments comments like yours uh, of course i feel great and of course i want to create more thank you for coming okay next example uh, people who are late or who cannot wait in line again like kids people uh, kids cannot stay at one place for 30 minutes and compensation mechanisms here uh, is like pay attention to me I am late I'm like a Cinderella who came uh, to the ball as the last guest I'm in the center of the universe look at me everybody pay attention so people who are always late they just want to get extra attention, extra, extra love. Uh, they want people to notice them. They want to be the center of the group. Uh, next example, people who cannot control their emotions. Uh, again, uh, let's compare uh, kids, right, with kids. Uh, when a child is sad, he's crying. When a child is mad, he's screaming. When a child is tired, he can cry and scream at the same time. Uh, a lot of adults create trauma and act based on their emotions. And we're going to talk more about this on the webinar number four, when we're going to talk about healthy boundaries or how to say no. So when a person acts on his emotions, it's not an adult reaction. It's a childish reaction. And the compensation mechanism here is... Uh, if you love me, you will accept me the way I am. Everybody wants the, uh, their partner to accept them the way they are. Uh, but a lot of time it's not possible because uh, a lot of time people act unacceptably. People uh, behave uh, childish and this is not what you have to accept from your partner or your partner should accept from you. So uh, people who cannot uh, control their emotions and their feelings, people who create drama, uh, they do it because they want um, to see that you love them. Basically, if you love me, you accept me. Next example, people who cannot create plans for the future, who cannot manage their time. It's like uh, if you ask a seven years old uh, to plan your vacation. Of course, the child cannot do this. So the people who um, cannot create plans, who cannot keep their words, who cannot follow your agreement, uh, this is uh, their, their inner child. Their inner child is saying like, 
no, I'm the baby here. You should take care of me. You should do everything for me. Why did not you remind me about that? Okay, so we made an agreement. So what? I changed my mind. This is the inner child uh, who who is stalking inside and you see the actions outside stubborn people uh, stubborn people who don't want to consider other people opinion who don't want uh, to discuss it and if you're gonna uh, discuss your opinion with them and if they not agree they're gonna become angry and they will try to do everything to prove that they are right and the compensation mechanism here is I'm uh, at the center of the universe. I'm the masterpiece. Uh, you should love me. You should agree with me. Uh, I am uh, right and you are wrong. And I'm not going to discuss it because you're not going to understand it. Uh, few more examples. People who don't know what they want. Uh, children usually don't know what they want. They just learning uh, their desires. They just trying to understand themselves. And I have a stepdaughter and she likes to ask her father uh, questions like this. Dad, I forgot what uh, part of chicken do I like? Do I like white meat or dark meat? Or she can say something like, uh, how do you think, uh, am I going to like this ice cream flavor? Or uh, do you remember, did I try this fish before? Uh, did I like it? And adults who did not heal their inner child, they uh, also do similar things. For example, a wife who wants... Uh, to get advice from her husband in everything or a woman who calls her friends often and discuss with them every single decision and again compensation mechanisms here is if you love me you must know me you must know what I like and a good husband should uh, be a psychic and he should know what his wife wants he should know why she is upset or angry. Uh, he should not ask her. She should not explain it to him. Uh, he just has to read her mind and he must um, predict her desires, her wishes. She, he must to understand what she wants. Again, uh, this woman has an inner child who's asking to be healed and that's why she is doing it because she wants to see that you love her. This is an awkward, awkward way of um, receiving love. Another example, people who are afraid of a change and uh, people who know that uh, uh, the way they live their life might be not the best one and they're not reaching their goals they're not uh, successful and uh, the situation is no longer working for them the relationship is no longer working and because they are afraid of a change uh, a woman can say like yes i know um my relationship is not gonna work my relationship is falling apart uh, my boyfriend treats me badly. We don't have sex anymore. We fight all the time. But I don't want to be lonely. But I don't want to leave him because I'm afraid to be lonely. Because I don't know what's going to be uh, if I will leave him. I'm afraid of the future. So I will be in this relationship. Yes, they are painful. Yes, I'm not happy. But at least I know... Uh, what it is at least I can uh, like I, I got I get used to my husband I know how to deal with him and the compensation mechanism is getting attention through pity she has a great uh, topic to complain about and she can discuss uh, for hours with her friends about her selfish boyfriend she can um, feel uh, that people can relate to her and feel sorry for her and she receives a lot of emotional support uh, if she will leave her husband she will have no topic no nothing to complain about and she might lose uh, the attention of her girlfriends that's why she's doing it she uh, 
she does not want um, to suffer, but at the same time, she's getting a lot of benefits from this suffering relationship. And um, final example uh, is about people who have issues. They know that they have issues, but they don't want to work on them. So a guy, for example, might know that he has a trust issues or he cannot commit to a relationship, but he does not want to go to therapy. He does not want to discuss it with his girlfriend. He does not want to attend any relationship workshops. And again, uh, his compensation mechanism is uh, I will get more attention from my girlfriend because every time when I'm leaving her, every time when I'm not um, uh, when, when I am not um, telling her about uh, our future, she is asking me again and again and again. Yes, sometimes I feel um, that she's bugging me, but every time she bugs me, I am getting attention. I am, uh, I know that she loves me. I see that she wants to be with me through her arguments, through our conflicts. The, the guy is thinking like he did not receive enough love in his childhood. He's not thinking about it. It happens uh, subconsciously. So because he did not receive enough love through his childhood, this is the way for him getting extra attention. Uh, when a person wants to be perfect, uh, he develops a good girl syndrome or good boy syndrome. And uh, um, I personally uh, had that syndrome and I always wanted to have good grades in school because my parents were proud of me when I got a good grades. I want to be the best so my parents be proud of me. I was not, I was afraid to disappoint my mom. My father left me when I was 11 and I did everything I could to be the best just uh, to make sure that my mom is gonna be proud of me. And uh, an adult person understands that many times in life you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect and I'm okay with this. But when you have uh, a childhood trauma, when you have a pain inside of you, you are using those um, mechanisms, those filters from your childhood in your adult life. And for example, in this case, when, um, when I had a good girl syndrome, I was 25 and I got married uh, and um, I was, uh, I spent many, many years uh, in a toxic relationship because I was trying to be a good girl. The good girl cannot leave uh, a toxic husband. The good girl cannot um, ask for help. She is the perfect one. And the compensation mechanism uh, here was, of course, I'm a good one. And one day he will see that I'm the good one and he will understand and treat me with respect. He will understand and see how amazing I am. So again, the way to receive love, not now, but somewhere in the future. People who cannot say no or who cannot understand no. Again, it's like kids. When you say to your child no, they, uh, a lot of time, they're not going to follow you no. They will complain. They will cry. They will say why not. They might create drama. So for children, you have to say no several times until they're going to learn uh, your rules. And um, same mechanism. If the child did not learn no in his childhood, then... When a person is going to be an adult, he's not going to um, respect other people's privacy. He's not going to um, understand the word no. And the compensation mechanism here is I want to be a child. I want to be a child. I want you to accept and love me the way I am. Uh, you should love me no matter what, no matter if I cross your boundaries, no matter if I take your stuff, you should love me anyway. And uh, another, another way when people cannot say no, other people uh, is going to use you. So if you cannot say no, you, you say yes every time when your boss is asking you to stay late at work. People who cannot say no, they cannot ask for help too. So this is like a two-way mechanism. Uh, you cannot say no and you cannot ask for help. So people are going to use you. 
uh, people who don't follow their own decisions, people who just, for example, people, a person decides to eat healthy, to um, start doing exercises every morning, or, um, you know, person saying that I'm going to be on a diet for two weeks, I want to lose weight. And the person cannot manage it for five days or maybe even for three days. And usually those people, uh, why uh, they cannot manage it? Because they create unrealistic goals. They put too much expectations on themselves. And of course, they put too much expectations on others. And the compensation mechanism here is like, I'm special. I can create real unrealistic goals. I can be a superhero, you know, I have a plan to lose 10 pounds within two weeks. I can do it. I will show the world that I'm special. Um, if uh, everybody is uh, just regular and I'm special, um, I'm not as everybody else. Uh, let me know if you recognize yourself or somebody um, that you know. And if you enjoy this video so far, please click like and share it on your social media this way i will know that i'm not talking to myself and i will know that you're here and you like what i'm sharing with you